Hey guys, swamp coolers are commonly found in dry and hot climates, such as Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. They take in warm air from the outside environment and pass them through evaporative cooler pads. These are wet and act to cool the air passing through. This cooler air is then directed into the interior of the building through a vent. This is done through the use of a blower motor. If you've never installed a swamp cooler before, it can seem complicated or just plain confusing. In this video, we break down the steps on how to install a swamp cooler. By the end of the video, you'll know the basics and be ready to install it on your own. If you want more information or further detailed steps, check out the links in the description below. If you have tips or tricks to make this easier or have another video you'd like to see, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So grab a snack or drink and the necessary supplies and get comfy. Here we go. Step one, work out the air volume of your home. You do this by multiplying the square footage of your home by the height of your ceilings and the number of air exchanges needed per hour. Once you know the hourly requirement, you can divide this to find the cubic feet of air required per minute. This is what the air capacity of the swamp cooler will be measured in. Step two, figure out where on the roof you want your cooler to sit. Find a space where there'll be a clear path to your ceiling. A good location will be in the middle of two roof joists. Mark a space for the outline of the swamp cooler on the roof. This should be marked on the interior using a pen or pencil. Using an electrical saw, cut out the inside of the duct hole you just drew. We suggest drilling holes in each of the corners to make a starting point for your cuts. Step three, carefully climb onto the roof of your house. Look at the hole you have created and find the position of the duct connection on the base of your swamp cooler. Use this information to find out where your cooler mounting bracket should be installed. Attach the mounting bracket to your roof to make the cooler level when installed. Add the metal braces to the roof joints and screw in the mounting brackets. Seal all the roof holes with chalk or roof tar when you're done. Step four, find a spot on the ceiling below the swamp cooler. This should be located in between two ceiling joists. If you find this hard, use a plumb bob on a string to find the area below the duct. Try to keep it as vertical as possible for ease of installation. Using a drywall saw, cut a hole in the ceiling and insert the ceiling duct register. Add the cooler duct, thermostat wire, and power wire. If you need a round and more flexible duct on your cooler, add a duct transition piece. Place the cooler on top of the mounting brackets. Connect it to the duct you have already installed. Secure in place according to the manufacturer's instructions. Step five, connecting the ends of the thermostat wire to the thermostat on the cooler. The inside thermostat should be connected to the thermostat wire and this should be installed inside the home on a wall away from the ceiling duct. You should connect the power wire of the cooler to your mains electricity. Step six, find some PVC or copper piping designed for water. Connect this to the cooler and connect the other end to the home's cold water supply. Seal the holes and connections in the pipe with a chalking gun. Some authorities will need you to add a water backflow preventer to your cold water supply. Step seven, switch on the water supply to the cooler. Check all pipes and connections for any leaks. The power should be switched on now too. Reduce the temperature setting of the thermostat. Finally, check all of your connections again, sealing any holes with aluminum tape. That's all there is to it. Now that you know how to install a swamp cooler, give it a shot. If you thought this video was helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have further questions, let us know in the comments below or check out the links in the description. Thanks for stopping in and we'll see you soon in our next video.